He's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? I still feel a bit sick, so my voice probably continues to sound a bit off, but fuck it. I'll play as Hermione this time. Shit. Okay, go back. Go back. I'm hitting the backspace key since I don't know which button to use on my controller, but nothing is happening. What the fuck? Okay, it was the Accio button. Because that's totally obvious. Uh, what do I do now? Oh, I can autofill. Alright. It's convenience. Eh, uh, shit, I never got cards for Hermione or Ron. Guess I'll deal with that later. Now what? Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. Did I just pick up one of those shields? They may have, I don't know. Are there ghost children singing or something? What am I hearing? Alright, easy enough. Looks like this whole Hogwarts exterior is a maze, though. That always makes me worried that I'll miss something. Ah, yes. I think you'll find this next creature interesting. Interesting? Interesting? There's no way that can be good! Well, at least I feel like I'm getting used to the controls. As much as I can, anyways. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I guess it doesn't hurt anything, but whatever. Okay, finally, I remembered what to do. Ron, what are you doing? I swear to God, you're the least intelligent of the trio sometimes. No, no. Okay, look, walk around the gate. Here, follow me. Will you stop at the Carpe Retractum? God damn it, Harry, don't close it! Okay, very good, Ron. Now can we please move along? Took us half a minute to walk through an open gate, for fuck's sake. How could it move? Uh, magic? Who the fuck asks a question like that in their fourth year, Harry? No. The scariest thing here is the stupidity in this game. Yeah, I think I need help. Okay, thanks. Ron, are you just gonna stand there? For fuck's sake, do something and help! Okay, never mind, we got it down without you, you lazy piece of shit. Great, another monster with ranged attacks. And these things exist along the exterior of the Hogwarts castle where students go outside regularly to relax and study instead of only being confined within a controlled classroom environment? Well, so much for throwing this thing off the edge of the drawbridge. Must be another... Alright, finally got that bastard. Ron... Just... why? Oh, very good. You're being helpful for once. And now Harry's standing around like a lazy piece of shit. What the fuck, guys? You know this would go much faster if all three of us did it, right? I don't know what I hope to accomplish by doing that, but it's probably a good way for Hermione to vent some frustration right now. Okay, more drawbridges, and I think I hear more enemies in the distance. Clear this shit out of the way, even though I'm sure I don't need to. Thank you, Ron. Well, I'll see if I can crush one of them from a safe distance by hurling this rock. Nope. Damn it, already got me. 
How are you supposed to take on more than one of these things at the same time? Well, we gave one of them a pumpkin head somehow. Alright, we've got the upper hand now. Well, I wanted to throw that one over the wall and out of sight, but once again, the in-game camera prevented me from seeing what I was doing. Okay, I guess it's gone anyways. And I've gotten all the beans and stuff around here too, I think. What good is Carpe Retractum if it can attack you a second later after you let go? Or is it Ron and Harry's responsibility to attack it while I'm holding it? Because that would actually make some sense if you could rely on the AI to behave in a smart enough way. At least they'll follow your lead some of the time, like extinguishing a fire like that. Alright then. Hope nobody was down there. I mean, what else am I gonna do with them? Although I suppose I could have just left them alone. I think I heard something down there. Shit, there's more up here too! Fuck, I actually died! Wait, what? I'm reborn? And I used a chocolate frog in the process. Okay, so that's good to know. Chocolate frogs don't give you health in this game, they straight up give you extra lives. Damn it! Using Carpet Retractum by yourself in this situation is pointless. Yeah, I don't even care. If using this boost of energy helps us defeat these fuckers any faster, then it's worth it. Looks like they're all gone. I'd say that was a pretty effective use of Magicus Extremos. And why would I want to jinx a dark detector? They detect dark magic, I assume? That sounds useful to me. I'd want to leave it alone if the game didn't tell me I had to get rewards for fucking up that kind of equipment. Is this a dead end? I guess it is. Well, I can't jump down. Oh, well, there's a shield over there. How do I reach it? Okay, right. The other side. So, they're called Urklings. I'll try to remember that. I doubt I'll be able to remember that. I can't even remember most people's names when they introduce me. I have to ask a few times. I think you need to worry a little more, Hermione. You flat out died, or at least fainted for a few seconds. Well, I guess I can't blame the camera too much for that. I saw the fire for one full second before running into it. At least the smaller fire pits don't take too long to extinguish. Okay, Ron. I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, but why would you decide to help with something that only takes one person to deal with? When I'm done with this Hogwarts exterior level, I'm gonna play whatever's next with you as a character so that you can actually do something useful for once. Oh, god damn it. No! Ah, we're probably surrounded by a dozen of these fucking things with a massive burning fire in the middle of this area. Fucking die, all of you! In fact, let me die too so I don't have to suffer with this shit any longer. Is one of them chanting something? Do no wrong? You're fucking shooting darts at us and dry-humping us with that spiky skin. 
And up until those last few seconds, I was only able to pick up one or two words occasionally, but I have no idea what it's saying overall. I think it rhymes, though. Is it some lengthy incantation? That'd be stupid. God damn it, I fucking died again. Although, to be fair, I literally asked for it a minute ago. Too bad I have to wake up and keep fighting, though. Ugh. <coughs> damn cough. Yeah, I probably should have used this power-up ability earlier. Holy shit, I can destroy these things in two or three hits now. Yeah, I'll definitely want to remember this and make sure I use the ability sparingly so it's saved for whenever I need it most. Fuck, we missed one. But it should be easier to defeat without several others ganging up on us at the same time. Oh, there's another one down here? I think Hermione got hit right in the face. Yeah, but she destroyed it all the same. Now, can we please put the fire out and end this already? Thank you, boys. Even if you're lazy, you're still just as desperate as I am to get out of here. Oh, I didn't know that would end the level. I seriously doubt I got all the shields since I only explored one area of that exterior map, though. I'm not sure what all of this is. I guess the more I cast with certain spells, the more powerful they get as I gain experience or something? I hope so. It'd be useful. Yeah, unlike Defense Against the Dark Arts, the Hogwarts exterior level doesn't have the word completed underneath it. Everything else is locked, I guess. And I need three more shields to go into the Forbidden Forest. Why would I want to do that anyway, as I've had enough with various creatures in this game already, thank you very much. I'll give it a bit of credit though, it doesn't suffer from being too easy like the last game did. Oh shit, I forgot to get cards for Hermione and Ron. Hey, let me back in, I fucked up. Of course, that won't work. Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. Yeah, you said that last time. Now where should I go now? How about down here? Oh, I nearly forgot about the dark detector. I'm not even sure I need to jinx them more than once or not. I can climb things in this game? Well, that's cool. Wish I could jump too instead of just walking slash falling off the edge. Am I supposed to stack these with Wingardium Leviosa and climb up to that wall up there? Yeah, let's go with that. Ron, you can't levitate shit if you're standing on top of it. God damn it, pick it up again. Steady now. Oh, uh, okay then. Yeah, that works. Ow. I really have to strategically place you guys ahead of time, don't I? Fuck's sake. I doubt I can even do that. Now walk. No. Damn it! You know, it would be nice if you guys could just automatically walk sideways out of the way of the massive floating rock that's bearing down towards you. Alright, close enough. Fuck's sake, I already fell off. Um... What do I do now? All you have to do to climb something is to walk up to the edge, so there's nothing else for me to try once I'm up there. I wonder if I can stack it three high, though. Apparently not, and I just dropped it on Ron's head, too. Well, he seems okay, at least. <sighs> Let's see. I don't think this buttress even goes anywhere. No, I just don't get it. Why can't I go and climb up the wall from here? 
Probably have to move the block closer to the wall and have it a bit closer to the center underneath the damaged edge of that upper wall, lip of the wall, whatever the hell. At least when all three of us are lifting something, you're not fighting with them over where to move the blocks. You have total control over where it goes. God damn it. Just fell off myself. Alright, so if one block is sort of on top of another, I still can't climb up the bottom one? Shit, fell off. They let me out of here, at least. Okay, fine. Tough shit, Harry. I think I've had enough of this right now anyways. Maybe I'll try again later. What's all that down there? Um, it's quite a long way down, isn't it? What do you expect, Ron? Uh, you haven't seen these before, have you? We'll have to use the To do what? To smash the supports, Ron! Yeah, duh. Careful. They can be a little explosive. You're telling me that now? That cauldron exploded! For fuck's sake, Ron! Well, at least that's new information, I guess. Puss, I don't know. And try being a little quicker in analyzing the situation next time, Ron. And why were you so concerned about being so high up while walking down the flying buttress a moment ago? You went through all the Carpe Retractum courses last year in the Prisoner of Azkaban game where you practically flung yourself over bottomless pits, and I never really got the impression that you were afraid of heights back then. I certainly couldn't have done that myself, so... Yeah, hats off to you. You could do something I couldn't. I have a horrible fear of heights. Okay, so I still have to use Aqua Eructo to put out the fire-breathing stone face, since a cauldron won't blow it up. But levitating these cauldrons and throwing them against walls to essentially blow them up and open new passageways is probably the most fun I've had with this game so far. Aiming isn't really that difficult or anything. Although, apparently just seconds ago I couldn't pick up a cauldron if it was off-screen, even though there have probably been other times where I've picked them up while standing further away while they were still on-screen. I hate that inconsistency bullshit because of a technicality like that. And I see a massive Wingardium Leviosa block. I'm not sure if I can reach that without needing another block, though. It seems kind of redundant. Of course it wouldn't let me cast one Guardian Leviosa at the cauldron through the wall. Yeah, that would have been too easy. And again, it won't let me pick it up while it's off screen, even though I'm practically already next to it. Well, another positive thing I have to say about this cauldron challenge is that you have considerable range. I'm a little surprised I could throw it that far, actually. Cool, another shield. Or a mini shield, whatever it is. I'm not sure I've seen either of them often enough for side by side to be able to recognize the difference between them. I guess a mini shield is smaller, but that's about all I can guess, really. Oh, what a cute little bunny. Oh, right, I have to kill it first. Ah, got the bastard. It's like a fluffy pinata, except it's alive and full of beans instead of candy. Were beans considered candy? It probably depends on how much high fructose corn syrup they have. But I wouldn't expect anything in the wizarding world to have that as an ingredient. Thank god for them. And there's another shield. Okay, so it's not only bigger in size, but unlike the mini shields, they also have that crystal in the middle. I guess I know what the purpose of that Wingardium Leviosa block from earlier is supposed to be used for now, but I still need to figure out how to reach it in the first place, though. Okay, throwing a cauldron against the back end it didn't do shit. Although there's a whole set of walls I didn't even knock down from earlier. It would be helpful if I could remember to do that. Cast aqua, rock For once, Ron said something useful. Sure, it's painfully obvious at this point that that's how you're supposed to eliminate this thing, but that split second of warning saved Hermione. Because she can't see three feet in front of her with this goddamn in-game camera and she could have walked right into the flamethrower. I hate this fucking camera. Piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's something useful over here. For fuck's sake, I wanted to cast Aqua Eructo, not Wingardium Leviosa. 
If there ever comes a time when I cast the wrong spell that shares the same button on the controller, simply because I can't aim myself as easily as I otherwise could if I have the in-game camera following me properly, and I'm fighting an enemy or something else that kills me, I'm gonna be more pissed off than I already am. And Ron, what was so bad about anything we've seen in the past minute compared to whatever we've seen during the last 15 or 20 minutes? I didn't see anything new there. Eh, nice to know that the exploding pus cauldrons don't seem to hurt our characters here. I don't know what else to try other than banging the cauldrons against the walls that I already know won't explode anyways. God, I don't know. Am I missing something obvious here? I know that isn't going to work, but I don't know what else to do. Besides, it actually is fun even though I'm not accomplishing anything, and it's not like I'm wasting cauldron since there seems to be an unlimited supply respawning themselves after a few seconds. If only I could just climb onto those damaged corners where the walls used to connect to that central area. These almost look like the holes that gnomes would crawl out of in the first two games, but they're just little windows. Why can't I hit this thing? Oh, I'm sorry, Ron. Did I hurt your arm or dirty your jacket? Now I finally hit it? When Guardian Levioso and Aqua Eructo seem to auto-aim, why not this generic Jinx or whatever I'm casting at this stone cup? Ugh, uh, uh, fucking hell. I either have to stand right next to it or be turned exactly the right amount so that I'm facing directly towards it. What the fuck was that? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Duh. But how come sometimes I can shoot two jinxes at once? Whoa, okay. I feel like an idiot, but I don't know what else- Oh, shit, are you serious? I missed another wall? You know, I wouldn't be having this problem if I just had a third-person view in-game camera- Well, this is technically a third-person view, but you know what I mean. There's no way I would have missed any of this if it had just followed me around normally. I know I keep bringing it up over and over again, but it really is a massive problem and a major annoyance. But even with all the camera's faults, I'm not sure how I missed being able to climb up here. Just walked right past it and didn't think about it, I guess. Alright, good. The remainder of this should be pretty straightforward now. Assuming they cooperate. No, god damn it, the block, not the cauldron. And of course, if you had a camera like we had in the last three games, then your mouse cursor, or optionally supported controller, would let you point very precisely at what you wanted to cast at. Kind of like crosshairs in a shooting game, you know? Why did you two let go? Help me out here. F fuck's sake, stop that, we're so close. God damn it. Uh, serves you right. Quit fooling around. God damn aim. Yeah, better make sure you cast at the block before the replacement cauldron appears. Thank God. Whatever.